Hello, my little munchkins, my little crones, and my little sunflowers. How are you on this fine Thursday night? I hope everything with you is copacetic. As I said, this is Baby Crone's late day. Yes. So when she comes home from school, college, I make sure she eats and I make sure she rests. And because then we have a long night ahead of us. Is that right, Baby Crone? Yes, it is. How was your day at school? My day was good. Yes, it was. Well, I'm so happy to hear that. Well, you know what this is, right? Well, before we go on, I hope that everything with you was well and wonderful and that you had a marvelous day. I really do. Now, let's get into the talk. The Kardashian. What episode, baby? This was episode six. I was just writing that down. Before I go, before you know, I like to pick up my little snippet. Okay. About a little pet peeve. Now, I can't go into it because I'm still trying to understand it myself. Okay. And that is one of the things that Kimberly said to me that just really said struck me. No, okay, she didn't say it to me. That's right, that's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say it to me, but it felt like she said it okay. to me. Uh -huh. She didn't say it to me, okay? You. But you know how somebody says something and it spoke to me? Yes. Because that's what I've been meditating and studying and thinking, what is love? And I've been yes. trying to understand why so many people break up. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this has been something I have been meditating on, I think, for the last two weeks. So when Kimberly, not only did she give the wedding, the ceremony, Beautiful, I'm not saying no judgment. But when they asked her, now this is a woman that has been married three times. Yes. And when they asked her for advice, her advice pretty much was communicate. <laughs> communicate. Make sure you talk to one another. Now you know and I know that's so cliche. Yes, that really is That cliche. is something that everybody knows by now, communicate. Mm -hmm. But... That wasn't the kicker. The kicker was when they were in the restaurant, when, when the, I can't think of her name, Shanon Twain had got from the singing, yes. and Kimberly turned to the audience and says, this is going to be our song. I want you to listen to this. This is going to be our song to the man out there. It, she, I think she's talking to Beckham. Oh, okay. What's his name? Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. Okay, everybody knows that she allegedly, everyone knows that she's seeing him, right? So anyway, so she, she says it to the audience with the smirk, and then she says, I love love. I believe in love. Love is fun. Yes, she did say that. And that she would be the Grinch without love. She'd be the Grinch without it. Because... That let me know that it has no sacredness to it. Yeah. It's fun. And when the fun is no longer there, then the marriage is over. Mm -hmm. See, it's not marrying. She's looking for fun. She's not looking for a long-term commitment. She's not look. She, she says she is. But as yes. soon as trouble arises or, oh, yes. or things not right, most of us what? Yep. Run. We run, especially when you have the means and you don't need a man or you don't need a woman and you could just. Yep. Scurry on along. Right. As many of them do. Like, like Jay, what's his name? Jeezy. Oh yes. Jeezy. Many of them. I don't want to get off track. But this is what I've been studying. And that let me know. I said, this woman has been married three times with four kids. Mm -hmm. And she look at marriage as fun. Yes. Now, let me say this before we get into it. You know out there, and I know, marriage is far from fun. It has moments that are fun. It has moments that is romantic. But remember, fun is an action word. Fun is something you have to do with someone else or doing something else to make fun, mm -hmm. okay? Something you really enjoy. But when you love someone, right, that doesn't cause for no action at all because mm -hmm. nobody can't even see your love unless you tell them. Okay. You yes. can only express your love through your words. Mm -hmm. You can't, you, they can't see it. You can see fun. Yes. But you can't see love. 
No. Isn't that deep? Yes. So when she said these things to me, which I've been studying, it lets me know she doesn't know what love is mm -hmm. inside of a relationship. No. And when things get hard, or things become embarrassing, or things become heavy, forget what the Bible says, when do you get a divorce, on the grounds of adultery or abuse. If none of that is happening, and you got everything, see, because when the fun stops, the marriage is over. Yes. And that's what I heard. And that was so sad to me, because she's ready to take on another victim. Somebody that's willing to pour their heart in her, and she walk away mm. because she has, she's in love with love. Yes. And when the love stops, just like a kid, when the love stops in her mind, that love didn't stop. That love is just going to another level. It's getting away from the fairy tale. It's, oh. it's getting more real. It's dealing with real things, mundane things, everyday things. It stopped at the kitty zone. Sooner or later, you're going to come up with something that's real. Yes. Be it a death, be it a baby, be it be anything. Losing your job, getting injured. Sooner or later, life's going to throw you a curveball when things get what? Real. Mm -hmm. And no one is exempt to it. And so when things get real, it's how we interplay through the realness. And for her, when things get real, as we seen with Kanye, as yes. we seen with the other guy and all her husbands, when things get real, she leave because she's in love with love. I have been studying that and I was meditating on it and even praying that, that it will come out where you can understand that I have given this much grace thought. How was that, Baby Crone? Yes, that was good. And it took seven minutes. Oh. So, Baby Crone, go ahead. I hope I didn't bore you, but I just think that we need to know what love is so we can put up boundaries. We can put up love. We can love and understand that love is a choice and how I love. And when I love, I want to love completely. Mm -hmm. But... Me giving my love to a soap bar, it's just going to get bubbles. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So I need to be careful where I invest my love. Yeah. Right? And we were talking about that today, about investing love in your best friend. Oh, yes. We was talking about that. Now, something interesting that Kim also did talk about in this mm -hmm. episode was she brought up her manifestation list again, except this time it was a little bit different. She said that she wants somebody that can calm her, but also get her pepped up and riled up when she needs to. See, it's all fun. See what I'm saying? She has no poor thing. She has, see, what I've come to realize, she's broken. When her father died somewhere mm. in her life, she got broken. And she looks to these men to fill whatever it is that she had with her father. And when they no longer fulfill, she's out because she's looking for that fun, that moment. Because they always talk about how they had fun with their dad. Yeah, they And do. so love to her is fun. You understand? Yes. She doesn't understand that... Fun stops for a moment yeah. and things happen and make things real. Just like I love being a mom, but every now and then baby clone gets sick yeah. and it's not fun for me. Not that I can do anything. She's grown, but when she feel bad, I feel bad. The fizz is gone. <laughs> the fizz. You understand? So I hope I, I've been really, really understanding that baby phone. Go ahead. So what were you saying? I mean, I really have because and then when I think about Chloe, I just look at the pathology of it. Yes. When I think about the girl, um, Kendall, Ken, no, Kendall and, and, and Kylie, two babies, they clueless. They don't know what it is. And I don't think their mother know. I think their mother teach them that love is fun and work. 
She's always going on vacation. She's always going around. Yes, it's about true, fun for her. I'm seeing this. Go ahead, baby crumb. Yes. So um, to continue, continue to continue mm -hmm. on the theme of Kim Kardashian and Chris Appleton getting married, um, yeah, married to Lucas. They Kim suggested in her excitement, which starts a little tizzy. In her excitement of hearing the news, she was like, oh my God, let's go to an Usher concert. And in her excitement, she forgot to invite Chloe. Even though Chloe was invited to be a flower girl, Kim still forgot to text her the details. And Chloe said that she feels like Kim was trying to sabotage her because Kim basically wants her to roll out of bed with no glam and beautify and go to an Usher concert and go to a wedding. So she said no to that, but Kim makes it up later in the episode. But then she had to rush because she had to go get a spray tan at one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And thinking about that, in spite of, I, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. That was just my pet peeve. No, I, I get it, but it was something that she didn't do in spite of all of it. And I forgot what it was. It'll come to me later. Oh, okay. Well, it, we was talking about how- You entitled to have your pet peeve. God knows I have a lot of them. I mean, even Usher said it too. He was just like, you're willing to ditch me to go get a spray tan? And Kim was just like, yeah. But he was like, okay, I gotta respect that. But um, anyway, <laughs> one o'clock in the morning though, um, well, she's got kids and I wonder, did she get a spray tan because her and what you call it worked out and she looked the same color to me. Yes. Her and Chloe did work out after the Usher concert. So I don't even, I don't know about spray tans. Do you go and work out after you get a spray tan and sweat and have to take a shower? So something wrong with that picture yeah. because that was apparently, she said, because what did you do? She said, how was the concert? She, she began to say, I got in late and this and that and that. So did she have her spray? She was talking as if it was just that I'm getting in just a few hours ago. Yeah. Because she had a cup of coffee and she brought her her um, power drink or whatever. Yes. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it, did it look like she had a spray tan? No, it didn't look like that at all. I'm just saying. Yes. But um, also in exciting news, Kendall Jenner had a horse baby. And then Kris Jenner continued to um, pressure her and say, so when are you going to give me a grandchild, Kendall? <laughs> what, what grandmother does? I mean, I, I'm not going to judge it. it I mean, it, I understand she loves kids, but... But I mean, you don't even... <laughs> Not that you have to get married, but Jesus, just say, you know, when are you going to find the right compatible mate so you can give me a baby? Nothing like that. Just give me a baby. We can afford it. We can afford it. Give me a baby. Yeah. Go out there and have a baby, Kendall. We can afford. That's what it sounds like. Go out there and give me a baby. Mm -hmm. It ain't about the money. We don't care about the father. Just give me a baby. It's your time. Yeah. And Kendall is cool about that. She's like, I will. Mm -hmm. In other words, she gave her her word that I will give you a baby. Yes. I, she said, I will do that, but it won't be today. Right. Just got to enjoy my life. I'm just trying myself. to figure out me right now. She is smart. Mm -hmm. Who wants to have a baby in their 20s? Yeah. I mean, that's when you're most fertile. That is fertile true. Fertile myrtle. <laughs> but hey. But the way life going, you got to take care of yourself first because a lot of men can't take care of you. You're going to have to get able to take care of yourself now. Yes. And some women are going to be left with sick men that can't work or been injured. And you're going to wind up being the breadwinner. And you stay with him because you love him. And when he was on his feet, he was good to you. Some of them get um, wounded in battle. And so we don't know how our future is going to turn out for our men. But if you was with Kim Kardashian, no fear. That meant the fun ran out. You got to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's no true. No legs and all. You got to go. Mm -hmm. Put you in a nursing home. Why? Because she would probably be so mean to you that she would start a fight. And see, yes. this, in my mind, this I'm, is this because I realized when you want fun, it's like you're, it's a fiend. It's like a high. 
When yes. you want fun, you want fun. Mm -hmm. And when nobody is giving you, you seeking that fun. I mean, fun can come sexually. It can come hanging out. It's just, she want the fun, like going to the store, yes. anything, just togetherness. That's fun for me. And you know, and I know in the real world, yeah, it doesn't, work it, like it that. doesn't it, you do have fun times mm -hmm. because when you have money, that's all you can do is hang out all day together. Yes. But we also saw that in another married couple who says, that's not good when you're with them. And this person is pleading for what? A, um, a break. A break. Give me a give me a six hour break from you. So that ain't good. See, when you got money like that, mm -hmm. yeah, now you under that person. Then you lose yourself. Yes, that is true. Am I right? Mm -hmm. So there is no winning in this. No, there isn't. But um, I really think I got a handle on why her marriages don't work and why her relationships won't work. Yes. Her relationships will work longer. Why? Because she's not married and she could be perpetually dating and having fun. And yes. I don't have to deal with the real things. Mm -hmm. Just like right now she said when she date again, which she is, that I'm going to keep it away from you. And we know who she was dating, at least allegedly, it was Beckham. Right. Yes, okay. And Baltimore was having a fit about it. And after I said that, everything went quiet. Yeah, that is you true. heard no more. So she went undercover. So don't tell me she, her face got to show up everywhere. Yeah, that, yes. Don't, don't tell me that you see she's dating and she's traveling and she's out there a lot. Yes, How she does is. she have time? And the, this is my last kicker. I don't understand why is she so fighting with her baby, oh, with Kanye over North staying with her dad when all she's doing is traveling and going a lot. That is true. I don't understand that. A type of control, I guess. Oh, what I was going to say about the wedding was this. Even then, nobody asked her and she volunteered herself to be the coordinator. Yes. And they put her as, you do the ceremony. Yes. They said, no, you won't coordinate. But she wound up coordinating what she wanted anyway. Mm -hmm. and gave herself praise. See, I know how to show a good time. Whenever Kim does something good, even with the little kids, she says, am I, am I a good mother, mommy? What did she say? Am she I always the best wanted, mommy? am I the best mommy in the world? No, my mommy, the best mommy, you number two. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. now the big, big um, story of the episode was Chloe and Kim. Sorry, Chloe and Chris Jenner. Now, first off, where do you want to start off with? Do you want to start off the with the baby or the hologram? First of all, let me talk about this baby. Okay. You can talk about the hologram and just pitch in. Okay. If 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 that mother wasn't any clear to say, see, I told you, I told you that 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 that's the baby. She she was like, ah, mm -hmm, and I'm like, was. wait a minute, that's a baby. I have to admit, still calls him Robert I, I, Kardashian. I have to admit that it looked like Rob Kardashian. I don't know the father, but I'm a, I'm sure. But I want to take the baby cap off the head because what the cap on looked like little raw. But 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 they make sure that they had the cap on. It's just like this. Sometimes people look different when they wear a cap. Yes. And sometimes they look different when they don't. Mm -hmm. People look different when they wear glasses. Yes. You remove the glasses, they look different, mm -hmm. right? So I'm saying maybe without that cap, he won't look like Rob. And the only reason why he look like Rob because he's a chunky baby. Oh, <laughs> chunky. Mm. <laughs> Chunky, mm. he's just so chunky, and he just looked like a milk dud, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can see you that. know, yeah, just, a nice just looking nice. baby. Yeah, nice, nice, nice pudgy baby. Any baby, you know. But um, but she 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 put that DNA in there. She yes, wanted she you to know, honey. Mm -hmm. So time will tell. But yes. I have to admit, with the cap on, because I saw the baby without the cap. Yeah, so we're looking. Oh, uh, weird. Ah, so yes, and uh, awkward. <laughs> no, we are no. not. Still, no, not. Okay. no, Still no. This cute little baby, and <laughs> yes, a cute little baby. 
Um, is there anything else you want to talk about that baby? Nothing. And I just wish her the best. Just sweet little baby. I don't know if the baby's sweet because I don't know the baby. But I know the baby is just, just looked like a big old, just a milk dud. Like, you know, when, well, milk dogs come chocolate. Well, that's a chocolate baby. But I'm saying milk dogs come, like if they came in white fudge or white chocolate, uh -huh. it's just so round and, and chewy. I mean, really, I say that in dear sentiment. I, I like fat babies. Okay. So, but he look like he gonna, like gonna be a big baby. He look he gonna be a big boy. Uh, I mean, Rob is so. But that's not Rob, baby. Sure. I hope not. <laughs> I don't know about that family. You I don't know about that family. We don't know where that sperm came from. I don't know. Yeah, after all, it was a surrogate. So. I don't know. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> But um, I'm done. Yes, I don't moving know. Moving on from that, Chloe was a little bit disappointed that Kris Jenner did not show up to her photo shoot because she wants her mom to be more engaged. However, the reason why Kris Jenner happened to miss Chloe's photo shoot is because she wanted to put up a hologram of herself around Chloe's house so that way she's always there for Chloe. I thought that was a sweet gesture. It was. But at the end of the day, you wasn't the there. Point. <laughs> You wasn't there. You still wasn't there. And I think that's what the point with Chloe. You did all of this. Mm -hmm. All this you spent, money you spent, wonderful. But you're not there. Yeah. Again, and that's what Chloe said, I'm ex exhausted. Yes, yeah, she is. Instead of you doing this, and even though this stuff, who's going, she going to take a whole crew everywhere she goes? Exactly. That's not even going to be logical or It's work not well. even logical. It's just that it's all kicks and giggles. So she missed the mark. So you still wasn't there. Yes. And you made this a priority. Something that she didn't find funny and she wanted it out of her house. Yes, she did. And the thing is, she show up for you. She show up for your dinner. She shows up for yes, you all does. the time. Mm -hmm. When nobody else, she yes. goes the distance for you. That's because that's who Chloe is. This is why I, so I defend Chloe. And I, she's one of my favorites. She really is. Because even though she makes mistakes, one thing I love about Chloe, she put her kids first. And that's, the le that's one thing I can't say Kim does. Yes, I can agree with that. Because and that's I know something that I know on. that Kali does it. I know mm -hmm. that definitely Courtney and I know Chloe. The only one I could say that does not, and that's Kim. And it's no way. And no matter how much she split her time up and say, I know I wasn't with you here. And she's running herself ragged. Yes, she is. And in a preview, we even hear her mom tell Kim, I know you and you're heading for a crash. Meaning she has to crash. Yeah. She has, I'm telling you, whatever codes up has to come I, down. I mean, she even says she needs to take a break, but then later in the year, she's like, I just can't take a break. I got to want all these deals. Let her do it. Let her do it. She's a super, super woman. Oh, and apparently she's getting acting classes, but we'll find out more later about that. Now, it see, comes. it's nothing. It's never enough. That's just that big old fat ego. Why don't you just stop and go home and take care of your kids? If you want to do something, why don't you go to college for real and sit in classes? Mm -hmm. Do that and take care of your kids. Yes. And become a, a good role model. A, a, no, become a lawyer and be a businesswoman mm -hmm. and stop trying to do everything. Yes. That's what you it know, is. You know what my mother used to say? What? She used to say, um, what did she, she say? She said, you are something at this and a master at none. Okay. Like, you know a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. I went out. So this, this uh, video, what is it? The uh, camera. camera that we're using is a little dog. I don't know how to fix it. We're really trying. I might have to take it somewhere to have it be fixed. Yeah. So bear with us as we go through this transition. I will be getting a better camera. I'm saving up with it. With every breath I take, I'm saving up for it. So anyway, like I said, what we were saying about Kimberly? Yes, we was how she is... Um, a trade at many and uh, a trade that she knows how to do many things, but she mastered at nothing. Mm -hmm. The thing she mastered is selfies. That's yes. and, and, and I'm not going to laugh and at that true. because it is an art to selfies and she invented that. 
Remember she made the selfie book. Books with nothing but her and stuff with selfies. Seriously? Yes, that, that you could put on the table. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just the famous for being famous. Hey, they did it. The momager did it. And and I, I don't know what to say about that. Um, just they did it. Um under lies and deceit, but they yes. did it. So some honorary mentions is at Chris Jenner's party which I'm not sure what yes. it was for. We was able to see Paris and Kathy Hilton, mm. as well as Jeannie Mai. And it was a couple of other people, but I don't remember their names, so. Yes, mm. so those are some honorary mentions of people that we have talked about on this channel that we happen to see at the table. Mm -hmm. I find that very interesting. Well, that was pretty much it. Oh. And what is with Kim and Jello shots? She's always like, where's the Jello shots? Is there any Jello shots? I'm like, Kim, I thought you didn't drink. Well, maybe with all the stress, it's just a, a little toddy. A, a, a little toddy make you a little thotty, you know? Maybe it loosens her up because she only does it when she goes. She's not really a drinker, though. I mean, she's turning one more. They showed one a long time ago where she was, where she had gotten inebriated and it was sick. Yeah. Well, that was pretty much it for this episode. This was the sixth episode of the fourth season of the Kardashians on Hulu on mm -hmm. Thursdays. Ooh. Is that it? That's we done did everything. Yes, we have talked about everything. We done talked about the. We talked about the the big old hologram. Hologram. Yes, we have. Did we say that that she? tolerated but she didn't like it mm -hmm. she wanted them out of her house it's got to be something we miss oh there's another thing um we haven't seen um courtney oh yes courtney was not in the episode the season but i mean not season episode but in the next episode the she makes an appearance parents, yes doing her gender reveal so we get the behind the scenes of oh, that oh yes 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 so anyway that's what it was all about i hope we gave you a good uh recap mm -hmm. i'm thinking is there anything you talked about the baby oh let's since we got the kardashians attention here for a moment let's talk about kylie jenner and how the fact that her kai line is yeah. being sued at the moment for allegedly copying Kanye style. So Kanye is suing her? That I am not sure about. That is a good question. Hmm. It's a lot to learn. Yes, but that just shows you how the um, Kardashians and the Jenners are just not original. Well, they're money makers. Yes, they that boosters. they know how to do. They boosters, they money makers. I'm not gonna, you know, it's for me. It's not the money. Okay. It, you know, I'll be a lie if I say I didn't buy their product. I do we buy do. skims, and we do. She's mm -hmm. got a skim on right now. Yes, I so do. So I would be a lie if I say I didn't support them in their clothing. That is not my issue. It's not even about the money. They can get as rich as they want. I don't understand it, but they can. I just would like for them to sit down. Just okay. Just a little bit. That's no. all. That's all I want. Yes, they they do. I mean, they even teased us with the idea of sitting down, and then, then they, they went to do. Hulu. Yes, mm -hmm. they did. But um, no, Kylie Jenner is not being sued. But a lot of people online are accusing her right. of copying Kanye's line, and Kanye hasn't responded to that. I'm just not sure what's what. I mean, we even hear Adidas is doing something with Kanye's line. It's just, why do y'all want to steal from Kanye? Hey, it's hard to come up with ideas. You know, it's hard, right? right. So, um, so anyway, well, yeah. this was good. This, I, I really thought this was a very good episode. It, it was good. I mean, all things, all things considering, you know, I'd like, I just enjoyed it. I, I, I enjoyed the show. Um, and I always enjoy it when Kim is loose and having fun. 
I'd like to see that side. I don't I don't want to see her doing her business. No. But I do like to see her lose, having fun, sitting around the family, hanging out. That's why I tune in. Yes. And it's good to see her like that. Mm -hmm. I would like to see more of her. And I think that if she would give more of that, I think her show would do better. Yes. Where's the fun, Kim? I think that absolutely. I love the fun, Kim. And she does know how to have fun. I give her that. I have nothing against her at all. I just want them to sit down for a little bit and give us all a break. Yes. Okay? We are on buy overload right now. So we need to really, sometimes you just need to take a step back. And they're not doing that because their whole life is dependent on that screen and making money. Yes, it so is. So the only way that they will ever go, we will all collectively have to go, we're not watching. No yes. more. And he, it would just have to whittle away. And right now, I don't think that we're there. Mm -mm. You know? No. So with that being said, we still wish them whatever they get in life, we wish them whatever they get. Yes. For good or for bad, we wish them whatever they get in life. If they work hard, they deserve to get what a worker's pay, right? Yes. If you work, you deserve to get what you want. And if they're working hard, then they deserve to get everything that they have. What do you think? Yes, I agree with All that. All right. So with that being said, we thank you for joining us. I'm um, yes. on this Thursday. Uh, did they yes. come on last night? It came today. on at midnight. It came on today, Thursday. Mm -hmm. So it's not late. So we hope we get it out to you as soon as possible. We hope you like our commentary. Okay, I went on about love because I'm really trying to understand this thing about love. And Kim. And you know we crones. And when I find out, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to make a little separate episode and talk about it. And maybe even have it where we can call in and we can talk about this thing because I think it needs to be talked about. Okay. When she said that word fun, yes, I was like, girls just want to have, have fun. fun. So, sunflowers. <laughs>